Hi, I'm Kelly, and this is Tatiana. Tatiana. We are the women of Empowered, and our mission is to build a sisterhood, obviously, us, um, and a community of people looking to grow, heal, and do life together. So. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Amen. I am Kelly. Um, I'm a mom of seven. <laughs> all my kids are, are all grown. And so I'm now a Nona to six. It will be seven um, in no November. And Empowered came about with with me uh, on my end. I'll tell a little bit about mine. But yes. um, a couple of years ago, God just kind of laid it on my heart. And it was something that... You know, I, I thought about, I, I spoke a little bit about it to um, my closest friends and then even prayed about it and journaled about it. And then just how God does, he lines things up and he brought it all to fruition. And um, I reached out to Tatiana and just asked her a little bit about it, um, if she would be interested in doing this with me. And she came alongside Well, of course I would. <laughs> So, um, and so I'll let her tell you a little about herself. Well, uh, my name is Tatiana. I don't have any kids, um, but it is um, a blessing uh, now as, as I, I am a divorcee. I, I was married before um, and we're going to get into those sort of things and why we came in, you know, together because she was also divorced and um long story short we're going to get into um you know being married and then life after marriage uh I'm, I'm sorry life after divorce uh and yeah how it was uh with a struggling uh drug addict um how hard it can get sometimes how um struggling with uh, abuse uh mental physical things like that um, are no longer with him. Um, but um, we're going to talk about our salvation, how we came to know Christ. Um, that's like the most beautiful story I can ever tell. Um, we're going to talk about different things that's going to help um, not only like women, but men as well. If you're interested, if you have any questions, make sure you leave some comments, um, like our thing, <laughs> like our YouTube channel so we can make sure that we are reaching the the people that want to hear um, in the that God wants to reach out, you know, because um, that's how I really started my uh, journey with God. You know, I, I started with self-help, you know, and I, I started, where did I start looking? YouTube. And I started searching like how to be a better sister, how to be a better person, how to, you know, and those things, little do you know, it brings you to God. Yeah. So I just want to thank God because he has brought this platform for both of us. And so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's just, I, I'm just excited to share our lives, our thoughts, our, the things that I've uh, learned, the things that, um, that just make us who we are. And, you know, share what God is doing literally like this morning, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, those are the things that I'm, you know, we're from Texas, so you might have a little accent here and there. I'm originally from um, Nicaragua, I'm Hispanic, and I am from California, so I have a whole journey as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So hopefully you guys get to know us, and hopefully we you get to um, just... You, you'll hear from our guests, our family members, and uh, some of our friends and people that we have met, you know. Yeah. Tell them about that lady from Martin, the one oh, you met. St. Saint, Saint Martin. Yeah. So I was just on a trip um, uh, probably two weeks ago in St. Martin. And each morning I took my journal with me and, and was still, you know, praying every morning and journaling. And each morning I would just pray and ask God to, to bring me across the path that of people that he wants me to meet. You know, also selfishly, some of that was for protection just because I'm in a, <laughs> another country all by myself. Right. You don't, don't know anybody. And, you know, I, I take advice or directions yeah. from the wrong person and I could be in a lot of trouble. But right, right. Um, so I, I, I did 
that morning, it was actually my last morning there and or day there. And I had journaled and just asked God to bring me across, you know, the past, the people across my path that he wants me to meet and encounter. And so I got up, had everything packed. I went to um, walk along the beach where I had been staying for the week and, um, you know, say goodbye to some of the people that I had met uh, while I was there, like all the different shop owners, um, people at the restaurants, stuff like that. And then also I, I did have one more souvenir I needed to buy. And so I wanted to go to another store, souvenir store, so I could buy this t-shirt mm -hmm. for one of the babies. And I just happened to go into this one store. There was a couple of ladies there working and I went back to wherever the, the baby, you know, stuff was and looking at the t-shirts and things like that. And um, one of the ladies that was cooler back there too, because they had a whole <laughs> bunch of fans on. So I was standing there <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> looking, but I was like, I'm just going to stand here for a little bit because it is hot out there. I mean, it's still early, but it was super hot. So I, one of the ladies came up to me and she, her name happened to be Benita and she, you know, just kind of started making uh, small talk with me and asking, you know, what I was doing there, what I was looking for, whatever. And we winded up having probably like a 20 minute conversation, but she, and I feel like that always happens to us. I think just talking about it, it always happens to us. We always talk about and share yeah. about God. Yeah. Well, she happened to be is a single mom and she has two boys and she just kind of just talking a little bit she asked me about myself do I have any kids was I buying it for my baby and I was like not one of my babies but one of my um sons right, right, right. so you know that just conversations kind of sparked from there because you know she's like you have kids you have a grown <laughs> kid and, and conversation you don't look that old and all these things so anyways we were talking and it was just I knew that she was somebody God put um, across my path and to give her a word of encouragement because she was just kind of blown away and, and like you could see it in her eyes that she did because she has, she's a single mom, divorced, you know, just barely making it with her two young boys. She was like, I can't imagine ever traveling and doing these things after they're grown. And I, you know, I just had a word for her to, you know, just tell her like, I promise you, I've been there. Um, there was, you know, times in my life where I didn't think that, you know, I would meet somebody and obviously I'm still single right now. So I haven't met somebody, but <laughs> I still have faith. I have yes. hope, but yes. just knowing that let, let be there for your kids and, and be fully, you know, entrenched in being mom and all of that, glean all of those emotions and eventually doing the right thing by your family and, and all of that, one day it will come to pass. You will have whatever her dreams and desires are, you know, but just keep on where she is right now. She needed that little bit of encouragement at that time to tell it it does get better, yeah. you know, and, and there's life after your kids get older. Right. I'm living proof of it, right. you know, so. With God, of course. Right? Yeah, 100%, 100%. <laughs> um so just little things like that and and really that's the like like the meat of what i feel like we want to do yeah. with this podcast so basically just make it to where we are speaking to you and we want to answer the questions you because we all have questions like why this why am i hurting why am i depressed why am i there's so so many things well obviously we don't have all the answers but we know someone that does and so we're just going to hopefully channel um you know from the man above you right, know and right. give us the words because i feel that's what i do on a daily basis okay i i i, I sell cars for a living so i feel like on a daily basis i am you know, testifying, I'm sharing the gospel, I am telling how good my life is, you know, compared to how it was a year ago, you know, uh, compared to how it, uh, it was a, a month ago, you know what I mean? Um, God is continually changing, we're like a layer of onions, he takes all of the trash, you know, and he's just making us into this beautiful masterpiece, um, and I feel like it, one by one, people at work are just the ones that are telling me, "Hey, there's what's what's going on with you? Like you, you just a, 
you know, a bundle of joy. You're just always happy. You're you're always smiling. You're always giving us, you know, talking about God. I was like, I mean, well, what else are you women talking about? You know what I mean? Like, if somebody comes to your life and changes your life, that's all you want to talk about. And, and I feel that about Jesus because he's um, the one who's changed me. Because anyone that knows me that probably even is going to watch this channel is going to know, Hey, that girl was a, you know, a piece of art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but God's truly changed me and, uh, I want to share the goodness, you know, I, I, why would I keep yeah. it inside? So I just want to share that. Then we came together this past summer, we went to, uh, Destin and, um, yeah. it was beautiful. I mean, how can you yeah. see all this beauty and say there's no God, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? 100%. So, um, I was just excited to share with Kelly and, um, um, tell us a little bit uh, about your upbringing, because I was curious about that. Oh, okay. So, well, we know each other because of my niece, Marina, yeah. who I raised. Hi, Marla. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so she's my niece's age. But um, I am one of four, well, actually one of five, but we didn't find out about my other brother that um, until like later, 2000 and yeah, 2000. He's from my dad. But um, so I grew up in a single mom home. We did not grow up in church. Um, and I actually didn't. I was thinking about this this morning. I actually did not get baptized. I, I, I came to Christ as a teenager. Mm -hmm. I prayed a prayer. Um, I get emotional when I talk about it. But yeah. I prayed one time when I was probably 15, 16 years old mm. by myself. Nobody was there. And, but all my life, um, there's always been something in me that tells me to run to God, mm -hmm. run to God. And when there's pain or sickness or just anything bad happens, good things happen as well. But something that was always this inner voice that was telling me, run to God, seek yeah. God. And so, I can and I just want to take a moment to just whoever's listening to us and that are not Christians yeah. because I feel like those type of feelings you also get where you're not like with God or Christian I feel like yeah. that's the Holy Spirit 100%. bringing you to God that's 100%. beautiful 100% it, that was God's hand on my life before I was even born God's mm -hmm. hand was on my life and um like from the moment I was born, like I, um, my mother and me as well almost died oh, giving, wow. while she was giving birth to me. I almost died when I was 18 months old because oh, I wow. had spinal meningitis. I almost oh, died wow. when I was 10 years old. Well, before that, almost died because, and we'll talk about it uh, right, later right. on, um, almost died at the hands of my biological father, mm. me, my, si my siblings, and my mom mm. almost died at that point when I was oh. probably two and a half, three years old. Uh, but guys like, no, 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 <laughs> not today, devil. <laughs> 100%. I feel like I'm uh, a cat with nine lives. No, uh, um, but <laughs> so not growing up in church, becoming a Christian, um, and following God, basically not necessarily following God. I, I was a Christian. I, I had a personal relationship with him as a teenager, but I, I wasn't really in church. I wasn't really doing life with him as a teenager. It wasn't until later on. Um, when I had my first son, I distinctly remember praying to God, asking for Right. And that's my second question, actually, because I think that for you and I, it's the same. Like I grew up in church and then I knew of God right? You know of God. Yeah, yeah. But then we don't have this connection with him until this one day goes, is like, oh, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so when is the day that you realize, hey, this is, this is my savior. This is my, like, you know what I mean? That I think when the I, 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 I want to say, and this, I think this is why I'm so, um, all parents love their kids, all moms love their oh, children. Right, right. But I think this is why I'm so like, I've, they've been my life is my children because when I prayed for God to send me somebody, give me somebody that's going to love me and never leave me. And unconditional. obviously there's that connect, that love of God, but yeah. I knew it was my son when I found out I was pregnant mm. with him. And that's when my, I feel like my life changed. Mm. I mean, obviously I'm not, I was, I'm not now I'm way more 
I feel like faithful in my walk with mm-hmm. him and how I live my life versus how I was at that age because I didn't have right. the knowledge. I don't think I hadn't been in church enough, but I did not know where I was going earlier was I have not had not gotten baptized until I was actually an adult. I actually winded up getting baptized when I was um, six months pregnant with my son, Emmanuel. Mm. And oh, wow. <laughs> so and that was like 1995. Yeah. So I didn't get baptized till last year, actually. Yeah, I mean, I, it took me 37 years. No. Um, I actually did get baptized when I was younger, but I don't think I realized what it understood meant. It, yeah. yeah, I understood yeah. what it meant. Yeah. We're like, oh, that's what Christians do, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I was that... like, okay, I guess. But I had to, you know, recommit my life last year, and I got baptized last year. No, uh, the beginning of this year, sorry. Okay. And so, yeah, that's what literally happened. And I mean... No, and that and that makes a lot of sense of why you're so on fire right now. Mm-hmm. I feel like I mentioned that to a couple of people, just you know, talking to them, talking about you. Yeah. Like I can tell that you're on fire for him, and that's a, an amazing feeling. Um, and why I like reached yeah. out to you and said I, you know, I think if you would be interested in doing this with me, mm-hmm. I want to do it because <laughs> I will, you know, I, I want to do it with somebody that yeah. a we have. We're women, so we're gonna yeah. have some commonality, right? And like a common right, right, bond, right, even yeah. though you're not a mom yet, right? right. Not you know, my um, daughter, <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, is I can I can tell I can just see it in I didn't know you before, like the one that you talked about. Yeah, <laughs> no, you didn't want to know her, <laughs> but I knew of you and I had seen right, you in right. passing, and I always thought like oh, she's a pretty girl, yeah. and, and you know Miranda would talk about you, um, you know the crazy things y'all did, right, right, <laughs> not horrible, nothing bad. Obviously. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> she I mean, just, yeah, like, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy things y'all did in high school we, after. Uh, all right, the- no, we did a lot of. Bad things. I mean, bad things. And I will yeah, testify right on. How, yeah, <laughs> plenty of times. Um, but I will testify and say that, you know, my life has changed. Uh, I'm redeemed. Um, God has called me clean. You know, <laughs> so that nasty person that I used once was, uh, you know, it's gone by the grace of God. Yeah. yeah. So I do think that. Um, over my lifetime, yeah, it's becoming baptized. That was a pivotal moment in my life. And then just every step of the way, God is always there with us, but it's up to us to try and uh, to stay in line with him and then also be open to hearing his, you know, his prompting or, you know, his warnings, things like that. And if we're living our life, yeah, we're a Christian, but we're living our life and doing all these other things. We're not going to be close enough in step with him to hear, Correct. or you know, or those other outside noises and voices will kind of come in and flood and and or differentiate taint. the difference of yeah. the voices. Like yeah. if you're not close to God, you're you're going to listen to whoever. You're going to listen to the enemy. You're going to listen to you know. Yeah. It's going to look like you know your best friend. It might look like your partner. You know, it might look like you know, your teacher might look like your boss, you know what I mean? And so, you know, it's not going to come to you and it's not going to talk to you like a snake. You know what I mean? It's, it, yeah, yeah. The devil so, never comes, comes like, yeah. like you picture him, you know, with right. his red horns or I always go back to, sorry, cut you off. No, it's I always go back to, have you seen the Passion of the Christ movie? Yeah, I think it's a long time ago. Yeah, I've watched remember. it what, what part though? <laughs> where he's like, back oh in yes the back of the yeah that's and he's just in a like in this cape and that is where where i how i picture him in my mind and i know he is like no. that is we've talked about right, this as, right. as far as like spiritual warfare oh yeah 100 he's right yeah. there like back and forth yeah. back and forth pacing to try and see if you're gonna do something or someone you know right that opening for him to be able to right. come into your life and wreak havoc or come into your loved one's mm-hmm. life and wreak oh, havoc really yeah 100 um, percent. So. yes well <laughs> <laughs> well that was good um let me see i think i had a couple other questions but i feel like this doesn't really go with that do you have any questions i was just gonna ask you 
I somewhat feel like I know, but I was going to ask you like what got you to this point that you're at right now of on fire for God, um, coming, coming into relationship with him the way, you know, like coming back to him. So it was last year. It was about February, 2013. Um, I was heartbroken. I had broken up with my ex boyfriend for like the 49th time in my life. But I feel like that day was the worst because I felt like it was over. We had a really bad argument and, um, I had seen this church and, you know, shout out to uncommon church, what is <laughs> but church? it's, it's uncommon church. Okay. So, um, I lived near that area and for about a year, I seen like the online, uh, channels uh online what's it called yeah uh, uh, online, online service yeah <laughs> online service so for a year i was just like you know but because i knew i was in sin you know i wasn't I, I had a boyfriend i was drinking i was doing all these things that i wasn't supposed to do but yet there's this part of me and which is our spiritual like our spirit man wants god you know what i mean so that part of me always reached out you know let me just take this hour. I, I can justify everything else just because I watched an hour of God, you know, whatever. So anyways, long story short, um, that day I'm like, that's it. I'm going to church no matter what, because every time I try to do and go to church physically, like something would happen. I, I Somebody would tell me to go out somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. Really and truly, it was just the enemy. Yeah, so I was like, you know, what? I'm going to commit to go. And then I didn't realize Wednesday is prayer night. So then I, I was like, well, I guess, I guess I'll just pray. So then I prayed and the pastor from the, uh, the front came all the way to the back. I sat in the back, like the very last chair, I think. And then he came and then he just said, he rebuked the spirit of abandonment in my life. And so from that moment, I felt something like lifted from yeah. my from my body yeah. and I felt like he took all the sadness like he, he didn't do it but I, you and I know who yeah. did it it was yeah. Jesus <laughs> so then when he said that everything just changed for me like I just I was just more joyful I was a sad girl I would always listen to all those sad music and wanted to cry every night and wanted to text them and how and you know text my ex and tell him how bad he was anyways and and so I just decided from that day on, I was going to change my life. But it was a struggle uh, because I, at first God delivered me from that. And then he literally, little by little, started delivering me from all this other stuff. And then um, eventually just complete freedom. And that is why you, you see this person now, because, yes, I am very grateful with God and very grateful for what he's done in my life. And, um, and now I want to share that because it's, it's such a, a peaceful, loving, uh, kind love that you will never experience anywhere else is that void is that spirit that is seeking out for God that I feel that we all need this whole world. Like it just breaks my heart when I see just terrible things, people calling me, asking me, um, for prayer, asking me to, you know, just for the things that I know that they know that they see, you know, in, you, in, in you. me. Yeah. And because, and I heard something, someone say, um, there's a God in everyone. There's a God in every single person. You know what I mean? To speak to that God in them, which yeah. is the, the part of us that is, 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 is of God. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but they, but they first has to see God in you yeah. in order yeah. for you, for them to listen to what you got to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I just feel like I, I have to stay in, in the word, stay in prayer and, and stay on the on track because I feel any other way we're just making things up, you know, as we go. I just feel like Yeah. And and we just have to stick to this word, you know, because this word is alive, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can whatever you do, whatever you say, God is just going to I feel like God is going to just make it happen for you. You know what I mean? Like, and that's why we're we're gonna talk about uh, the the power of word. 
Yeah. In the next episode, and the you know we're just gonna keep talking about the power of the power of the tongue, the tongue, um, prayer, prayer, power praise. Of, uh, um, we talked also a little bit about it, a power of discernment. Right. So you know the Holy Spirit. Right. That that he gives us um, warning sometimes, or he gives us a word to give to somebody else. But right. you know we have to we have to understand that and discern it. Um, to be able to uh, basically fulfill what he's asking us to right, do right, um, right. or called us to do or stop right. doing, <laughs> whatever the case may right. be. And I meant to bring a book with me, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll pass it to you probably next week or something, but it's called um, The Power of Praise, The Prayer That Changes Everything. It's by a Christian author, um, Stormy, Stormy O. Martin. Mm-hmm. And you may have heard her. She has a lot of power of praying women, power of praying Actually, wives. no. Like, you I'm really it? new to, like, Christian world, you know, because okay. I really, I don't know the artist. I'm not, like, y'all are going to have to tell me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to tell you that <laughs> the radio station, Air One. So, locally, there's... Um, KLTY. Oh, yeah. Um, and know. then Air One. And you that's uh, one that you can listen to in other areas as yeah. well. Um, they have less commercial on there. <laughs> but every once in a while, they'll do like a couple of times a year, they'll do like this, you know, to raise money. Oh. And you can pledge and you can give um, every month, things like that. But that's another uh, really good one, one that I listen to. Unless you like like talk and where people are on there. and like, I mix it up because sometimes I'm just like. I love the music. Yeah. I'm a, music for me is, I feel like that has been also another running theme for my through my life. Is that has gotten, worship music has gotten me through so many things right. in my life. And I, I know because there was a point in my life where I was like, I don't know, something's wrong with me, or I'm just not there yet. Why can't I hear God talking to me? Um, there was a time of, uh, that I've gone over my lifetime. Um, it's mainly been in my adult life that I've gone to like one church service after another. Like, I know. I've done that. I was Even, like, especially during wait, COVID. Wait, for, for a story. I have to say, when you told me that story, I was like, dang, I thought I was crazy. <laughs> I said, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> But I did think about it. I didn't do it yet. But <laughs> no. So, the, <laughs> like, oh. you go to church to get fed. Right, right. But I was still hungry. <laughs> right. So I knew. I was you like. You know, it was the same pastor, same no, message, it, right? No, it was a no? different church. Oh, okay. I got up and went to a oh, holy Oh, okay. Because my, my church now has two services. It's okay, the same no. pastor, same message, no, no, but no. just different No, people. I went to two different churches. Oh, At that I time, you. I was dating um, someone and who I thought I was going to marry and we would go to church (laughs) together and he had his boys that weekend and so we went to a a certain church that he had been wanting to try and went to and it was a good service um a good message but I just felt led to go to the one that we normally went to so (laughs) I let him go after we went to that because his thing was it's early we can go and I, you know then after that i could spend time with my boys and i was like okay yeah, yeah. well you go do that and i'm gonna go to our <laughs> church and go and i felt like get fed and little did i know i was working some things out because that was not the man for me and he told me in that next service <laughs> oh, that wow. I was at, he had a lady come up to me and invite me to like a singles and um group and things like that and it was just stuff that i was praying about yeah i mean because he was at that moment he was everything that i had prayed about for a man to be but that's not who god wanted me to be Mm -hmm. with that's not the relationship i was supposed to be in and heart being hard-headed but that 100 percent that was god wanted me to get more but but how do you how do you know when god's telling you no and you know what i mean how did you know so, <laughs> I mean, because I knew, some people want to know. No, I knew right then, but I'm hard headed and I stayed <laughs> and I continued. Same. Yeah, I continued the relationship uh-huh. until it got to a point that things happened between us, that there was no way I could stay with him. Mm. And God said, you, 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 have, to, yeah, you have to, yeah. you have to leave Align. this this person now Mm -hmm. and the reason why i allowed it to happen the way it did is because you wouldn't leave him yourself Mm -hmm. and so you know but 
because like he was my best friend and I enjoyed doing everything with him and he was a good father and right. all the you know all the, he was somebody that I felt like would be a good model role model and good person to integrate into my kids lives you know they were younger at the time so bring into their life and they actually did know him loved him gave him a nickname all those things and so mm-hmm. you know in my mind I'm like this is the person this is who I'm supposed to be with um, but God was saying no. <laughs> and so I'm going to make you go to church back right. to back. So hey, leave that relationship yeah. before you become a, a motivational speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, he was a good man. He is a good man. Uh, we still to this day are friends. Um, he just wasn't my Correct, person. yeah. So, And I, I know that now. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I did that at one point. Um, and then also during COVID, I would think I told you about that too, me and my sister-in-law, because everybody was locked down and all the churches started going to online. So like we got up at six o'clock in the morning (laughs) because she was going through her divorce at that time. Same with me. And we got up on Sunday morning, six o'clock praying, um, over her. Not me. I was still the bad Tatiana. (laughs) And (laughs) this watching church. Uh, Levi Lesko's church, uh, and I forgot, Transformation Church in Oklahoma, um, then her church that she likes to go to, I think it's in the Woodlands, and then <laughs> my church that I go to, <laughs> Shoreline, and then I think we watched another one, but it was just, it was amazing, because like, we had the windows open, and the music, worship music playing, yeah. like, you couldn't tell me that God wasn't right there with us, <laughs> so, right. um, but it, those are all just things that I know it helped me grow as mm-hmm. a person, it helped me in my walk, and, you know, made the best of what was going on at the time, you know, like COVID and everybody locked yeah. down and stuff. And a hundred percent, I'm sure people thought I was crazy. They probably still do. <laughs> that term is probably used for me a lot, especially on Facebook, mm-hmm. because even before all this, way before 2020, um, COVID and all that, I have I've always had Facebook and Instagram for a while, but I, I got to a point of where I wanted to like delete it and, and because of all the, yeah, I think we all it. go through that. We're yeah. like, man, I need a break. Yeah, or Throwing just the, too much. <laughs> the ugliness, I think, and the things that that were coming across my feed. But I felt God say, no, you need, you just need to be intentional with your 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 social media. Oh, you need yeah. to watch what you follow, who you're you in network with. Yeah. Yes, all of those things. Yeah, and so I agree. I took that. And unfollowed a lot of people. And speaking of follow, follow us right now. Go ahead and hit that button. <laughs> so, um, and turn on that bell. Yeah. I don't know. I always hear the YouTubers. Oh, That's the why I'm just saying it. <laughs> I, I don't watch enough YouTube. To know that. Too much YouTube. It's embarrassing. But so being intentional with it, and yeah. I know that, like. When I first started doing that, I shared a lot of scripture or sermons or, you know, just different things that touched me. Mm -hmm. And when I felt led to share it on my Facebook or Mm -hmm. whatever Mm -hmm. social media app I was on, I did. And so I I imagine a lot of people probably unfollowed me or like snoozed me, whatever, just because of that. But for me, it was, it's always been like, if I felt led to share it, I'm going to share it. Yeah. And so, but I'm sure that's what you call me Yeah, it happens to me too. Like I just share certain things and certain things I send to you or whoever. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, no, What's, I think so too. I think it's just some, one of those things that if it touches you, um, like deep, I'd be crying. I'd be like, "What? <laughs> right. Like, why am I crying so much right now?" <laughs> um, then there's there's somebody else out there, and a lot of times, you know, you send it to me, or I'll send something to you. It's because God led me to, right? You know? Or you know what? I want to say something real fast because I feel like what the enemy meant it for bad, God uses it for good. Yeah. And yeah, one so. time, I was listening to this one YouTube testimony and i'm not you know dissing anybody but i heard this man who had a but it it just didn't coordinate with the words with the things that in the bible so i kind of felt like kind of weird about it but i was like sobbing 
I was like crying at the same time. But then whenever I shared it with someone else, they brought it to my attention. I'm like, you're right. Anyways, long story short, I was like, but that got me closer to God. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. whatever he intended he for it to be bad, I don't even know if the I don't even know the man. He's yeah, yeah. somewhere in Argentina, in Spanish, <laughs> okay, you know. Okay. So I was like, it doesn't coordinate with the Bible. So I don't feel good about this. But I was like, but you know what? But that it brought me closer, and it uh, convicted me mm. to certain things that I was doing in my life. And I was just like, you know, if anything, it it. God made it for good. So, yeah. I, you know, not not that you should listen to whatever, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you, you know, happen to stumble upon something that's not, you know, God, just ask God. You know, I feel like God is is faithful to just teach you and, and show you, like, you know. A hundred percent. Where to go, you know, Always if, you, test if you're it. seeking right. something, the truth, you will be fulfilled, the Bible says. So. Yeah. Always... They say always test it, whatever sermon, scripture, what, you know, if you're listening to somebody on YouTube or your, you know, a podcast or whatever, but test it by his word, you know, to, to, if it lines up with his word, right? because right. his word and you is should true. know them by the fruits, you know, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, which I learned yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um. You want me to say that? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I will. <laughs> um, love, peace, joy, uh, forbearance, uh, kindness, joyfulness. Um, kindness, forbearance, um, self-control, and the last one I forgot. Patience? No. no. But anyways, uh, yeah, kind of. Well, I guess I didn't remember, but I'm trying. Okay, <laughs> so I got, I got seven, eight. Of the... I got eight out of nine. Oh, okay, eight out of nine. I know I'm gonna be myself <laughs> when I get home, but I was like, yeah, I was so oh. proud yesterday. I was like, I was ready to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But um, but yeah, I mean, these are the things that the spirit. You, you see somebody, they're joyful, they're glad, they're kind. You know, sometimes I would look at people before, you know, I feel like, man, I know that that person has God. No, there's no way you're that happy. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it just, you know, me knowing of the church and stuff, I always tell, I can tell when somebody had Christ. And so, yeah, I, I just, just, I was just like, you can tell. Yeah. Where did you, you said you learned the fruits of the spirit yesterday. Where'd you learn that at? The Bible. <laughs> oh, no. I was thinking maybe you went to, like, a church service or no, something. No, no, no. no. I mean, I was, just, I was reading the okay, Bible, okay. just getting to know uh, okay. the Holy Spirit. Because, you know, that's who it's your guide, your everything. You know what I mean? So I just feel like if you want to know God, you want to hear from him, there's no better place than to get into this word. And I want to encourage you all to, like, yeah. open your Bible. It might start with just one verse. A day, you know what I mean? That's how I did it. Sometimes I don't feel like doing it. I'm just going to be, you know, honest. And But I just have to force myself. And that's the same with prayer. Right. Like every morning I set my alarm. I used to not set an alarm because I'm the type of person that eats when I'm hungry and sleeps when I'm tired. Yeah. So if I'm up, I'm up. And okay. I never put an alarm. Um, well, it's been years. But uh, I never, I didn't believe in alarms. So I just wake up when I wake up. Um, but then I start putting alarms so I can wake up a little earlier than my body wakes me up so I can, you know, start praying okay. those times. Before you start your day? Correct. Yeah. So some di some days I'll start like my day at 7 a.m. Some days so I'll start my day at 5 p.m. or 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, so it just depends. So, and then one day I was just like, please, God, I'm like, praise you, Jesus. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm just so tired, yeah. you know, but it's just a sacrifice and that I feel like, I feel like I want to get to know yeah. God more yeah. and I want him to know who I am, right. you know, because I want to, to hear those words, good and, and faithful servant. Right. You did well. You yeah. know what I mean? I knew you, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of people know me, you know, he's <laughs> God, Jesus, you know, it, whoever doesn't know about God, it's just like, I don't know. But does the, does God know you? Right. You know, that's really the question. So I want him to know me. Like, I, I didn't, he didn't know me for years. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like that I finally, it kind of was like, <clears throat> in my mind, I was just like, how do I get to know God? 
And so I started searching too. Um, right. On YouTube. On YouTube. I was going to say, but yeah. yes, YouTube um, led yeah. me to everything, you know? And so I just started saying like, what can I do? What can I do? Like, if you know somebody, if you want to know somebody, you search them. Like, if you go to a school, you, you look in their background and, you yeah. know what I mean? So that's why I tell people when I, whenever I witness to people, like, I tell them, hey, don't believe me. Go to the word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'll show you. Yeah. I was like, and if you want to do the research, there's plenty of doctors, plenty of researchers, historians, a lot of people that can verify the history of the Bible and coordinates with the history that's been left behind, you know, in the evidence, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, if you don't believe me, trust me, go go do your own research. You're going to find out and God is going to find you because you're seeking him. You're you're trying to find him. Yeah. And somebody told me the other day, before I uh, become Christian, I want to read the book first. I was like, oh my God. I was like, you're so cool. Like nobody literally says that ever, but yes, please do. do read and the, yeah. Please read the instructions. Okay. <laughs> know what you're getting yourself into. No, I'm just joking. But yes, read the book, Re read the Bible because there's no way you read the Bible yeah. and not change. Like it's changed my life radically. And some people are probably like, nah, because it, it <clears throat> I feel like I've, uh, changed plenty of times you know oh, okay. since 2013 since i gave my life back to christ but i feel like i was doing it on my own yeah yeah and so I, until god said hey are you done doing it on your own because i'm here and i can help you yeah. and ever since then i literally trusted a hundred percent god and he basically told me okay here you go now here's the here's the joy Here's the peace, right. you know, that comes with it. Yeah. Here's, oh, your your job is not doing too good. Or, you, you know, your coworkers are this or, or these customers, you know what I mean? Because I, God knows I need a lot of love with these customers. But, um, yeah, here's the joy in the middle of all this chaos. Like, yeah. when, when somebody wants to scream at me or come for me or, or my family member or whoever, like my ex or whatever wants to come my way, Hey, remember, you're a child, God. You, you're not that Tatiana. You don't get even. Mm -hmm. You you don't you don't say nasty things to. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you you have self control. Right. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? So, just that's don't... tough. That's <laughs> tough. Road rage was the worst. <laughs> don't even get me started with that. But thank God, I'm just yeah. like okay. Just now, I'm just like, like I'm talking to God directly because I. Don't, I feel like God is watching me. It's like it's a constant camera on me all day, <laughs> right. all along. And I'm like, you know, we're not perfect by no. all means. God, I was like, I don't even know why you want to use me out of all people. Mm. You know what I mean? A, a, a liar, a thief, a, a rebel a, with no cost. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like all these things. And then, yeah. But that's who he uses. If you read the Bible, that's who right. he uses. He uses right. people that have come from a messed up background or mm -hmm. have done things that that is not Christ-like mm -hmm. and he does a work in them and he uses them and kind of going back to you know just all of our over our lifetime the stories the things that we go through correct, um, correct. you know leading us to this but also bringing other people across our path that are, need to hear you know some a story like yours to know that Okay, I'm not crazy. I'm not the only one that does right, wild things right. like this. And, you know, there is hope for me. You know? Yes. Um, There's hope for y'all. There is, <laughs> you know, or uh, somebody that's going through divorce or, you right. know, they might not be going through divorce, but they may be going through a rough patch in their marriage. And Correct. then, yeah, I was gonna you say know, some too. of the, our story can resonate with them. And, you know, they use some of the tools that we, you know, obviously that was not my person either and god brought me through that um uh, and you know i'm again living to to tell about it that that wasn't the end of my life you know that, that but as a you know when you're married you, at that moment you feel that 100 percent. when you're married and you think this is your person you're like devastated because right, that yeah. it's a it's like a death um and so you grieve that you grieve that relationship and what you thought your life was going to look like. Right. Um, but I'm so thankful that God brought me out of that. It'd be, 
He does hate divorce. He does not, you know, want that for our children and for our families. But um, and the shame that comes with a hundred percent, the shame, the guilt, the feeling like yeah. you failed your family, yeah, or let people down. Yeah. Even you know, you didn't have kids, but I'm sure right. for your parents, you feel like okay, I'm disappointing them. I've, right, I, I dissolved this marriage or whatever. Right. But you know, that's not where God had you. Um, and so that is why you come are coming out of it and, mm-hmm. and things like that. But I just think all of that makes us who we are. Right, right. And yeah. our story is not over. Obviously, we're just continuing to um, hopefully continue to grow and become more Christ-like and, and our walk becomes stronger with him. Because I don't feel like uh, you may differ or feel differently, but I don't feel like we're ever going to come to a place in our life that we're like, oh, you know, we right. we we've, no, we've got yeah, it all no. figured out. We're perfect. No. We don't need no more trials. No, we don't please, need no- <laughs> please, God, <laughs> help me every single day. <laughs> you know, but I, the 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 goal for me, anyways, is you know today the Kelly I am today is not the Kelly that I was two years ago, and the Kelly that I am ten years from now is not going to be the Kelly I am today. today. Correct. I'm like yeah. continually growing and progressing and being coming better. Yeah. Um, not just a better woman, a better mother, a better, you know, all around person. And hopefully eventually for my future spouse, if God right. has that for me. Right. If not, no, I have sure. prayed lately, please take that desire from me. Oh, no, I was like, please God, let me have a family before you come. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. No, and I know you are praying for that. Yeah. Um, to one day have be remarried and uh, that truly if, if it happens before the end of the year even better <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> so but I know you're seeking him and that's that's the best thing that you can do is seek God and then he'll bring everything else yeah. um, around you he'll bring the right people he'll bring the right mate the mm-hmm. right job like everything right. you just have to have Trust in him and his plan. And trust me, there's plenty of times in my life that I've wanted to run the other way or give up. And there are yeah. times that I've probably stopped dead in my tracks and just, eh, I'm going to chill out on the, <laughs> going to church or watching three sermons a day. <laughs> right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my own little thing, you know, what I want to do. But God always, he's, he's right there. He's always coming right. back to me and pursuing me and you know, I just think it's something in me that's always like, go to God, go to God. Um, and I do believe that that is why I am where I am now today, us sitting here and right. talking like we are. And hopefully next week, you know, coming back again and yeah. doing something else. Or if it's we have somebody on to come and tell their story or testimony. Yeah. Um, 100%. There's, there's a reason for all of this that's happening, our conversations. And um, I, that's kind of what the sisterhood thing was about because we talked about it. You know, our, our connection, our bond will come mm-hmm. stronger. Mm-hmm. And then I think we'll also bring people alongside us that it will only become better. <laughs> I'm oh, so sorry. bless you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I agree. And um, I just pray that he can open our minds and and just say what you know and it can naturally flow because you know obviously the people are not jumping in here just to see us and whatever Mm, we i want them to get what we're here for you know what i mean okay so what is the advice you would give your younger self that's a good question so i think i would give myself The advice of belief in yourself, but when I say believe in myself, not necessarily in me, Kelly, like I I have all these bright ideas or Mm -hmm. I have it all together, but believe that you have a purpose. Mm -hmm. God has a plan for you and you're stronger than you realize. Because I think for a lot of my life, I lived in fear. I didn't step out and do things I wouldn't speak up I was kind of when I was married I was very oh, yes very much quiet. passive I was very much scared scared oh I 
with, like you had a lot of fear because if you said the wrong thing, a hundred percent, I walked oh, wow. on eggshells in that relationship, but it's more than that because I even like other relationships that I have, like my sister, I, I will, will say as a, as my younger self, Kelly was pretty much a doormat. Like people kind of just kind of come and dumped their stuff on me, like, mm -hmm. you know, um, and I just kind of took it. And so now, um, I think I would just say like, you, you are stronger than you know, and you have something yeah. to say, you have, you have some value. You matter. Yeah, yeah. To, to bring to the table. So believe in that Kelly that I am now. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't shut my mouth. <laughs> right. Um, and Same. tell, yeah, tell corny jokes or, you know, just do dumb. My sister would be like, you stuff. talk a lot. <laughs> I'd be like, um, thanks. Yeah. But it's because you have a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot in my brain. Right. Well, for me, I'll, I joke and say, like, it's because of all the years I was married to him. I had to keep my mouth shut. I have so right. much material. I think I'm a comedian. But. Yeah, sometimes yes. Yeah, so, so is that what you would say to people that are listening to us yeah. um, that felt the same way that you did? Yeah, I I think so. I mean, obviously, at the core of me is my faith. Um, my, my faith. And so believe in who he designed me to be. Mm. Who... I was yeah. brought into this world to be and, mm. and believe in the purpose that he has on my life. Mm. Um, Cause we talked about it a little bit yeah. before, like everything, everything happened in my life for a reason. And it led me up to, you know, present day where I am right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have all the obstacles or all the trials and tribulations for nothing. He was trying to teach me something, grow me and bring me to where I am now. So you can share. And, yeah, so I can share and, that and with just other people. tell people, yeah. Yeah. Same. And yeah, because it's not easy. I mean, going through with somebody that is so, control. I mean, yeah, I didn't want, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted you to say the word because yeah, I'm like, yeah. I didn't know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then yeah. my ex that was very, he was so controlling in a, in a way, and but then the drugs made it worse. Mm -hmm. So then for somebody who's struggling with that, I also want to encourage you, like, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, right. it will get better. Um, sometimes we don't even have words. So, you know, I just want to encourage you to right. seek God. Ask God because, you know, he's the only one that can help us with our struggles. Um, but you also have people like Kelly and I um just to tell you that we are living proof that, hey, God will bring you from that situation. Because there's so many nights, well, I kid you not, Kelly, like, um, I would be sleeping in this man, obviously on drugs, wouldn't be sleeping. So I just be sleeping and he would just shake me, you know, wake me yeah. up and tell me, hey, who's that next to you? Like literally no one, yeah, <laughs> you know drugs. what I mean? Exactly. And so, so many nights I, I couldn't sleep. I just, um, there's things that, uh, people don't know. I have never shared it before. And, you know, I would literally go to my restroom, be like, I'm going to go to the restroom and tell this, these people, like, I mean, not people, but I would tell God, like, God help me. Yeah. Like, please. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and so many nights I, I just pray in my restroom and I was just rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Like I didn't know nothing else, but you know, just, you know, ask God. I know we're laughing at it now because it's, it's crazy to yeah, even hear that. You yeah. know what I mean? But I lived it. No, and uh, I mean, and we would, at first I would, you know, engage in the arguments and, yeah, I, okay. but then I realized, Hey, this is not my, this is a spiritual battle, yeah. which I already won. You know what I mean? Until I realized that, Hey, I'm fighting this person, you know what I mean? But who I really need to fight is the person who's behind this person. Yeah, the enemy. Yeah. And then the person who's behind me is going to kick some butt, you know what I mean? So right. I, I just I just felt like to share that real quick because I feel like, you know, there and there's many other stories, obviously, that I will be sharing yeah. um, that's going to encourage people who are going through the same circumstances. Or if you are have an addiction problem you know i just i, I pray you know what i mean yeah. that you hear 
this message and that God can restore you because he will restore you. You know, I have so many testimonies of women that, and men that get out of that dark world. You know what I mean? It's not, um, it's not the easiest, but it's simple, you know, it's simple because there's one answer to that. And it's Jesus. You know what I mean? So I've never struggled with addiction. um, Me neither. I didn't understand it. And that is the main reason why, I had such a hard time because I come from a Christian home. I'm never, I, I'm the type of person that thought that crime was only on the mafia movies on, you know yeah. what I mean? So I was very secluded. My parents didn't let me do anything. So then when I finally left, left the, house. the house, I was like, I didn't go crazy because I didn't really drink till like I was 21, uh-huh. but I, I literally like just did whatever, you know? And so yeah yeah uh, yeah well personally i didn't deal with addiction but i have people around me that kind of oh, uh, yeah, are yeah. in addiction and, yeah. and have that but and then i actually wanted up working for a man that was 19 years sober, sober. um oh, he was wow. a recovering alcoholic he's now passed but i know that god put me there for a reason right. because now i have loved ones very close to me that are yeah it's know, doable yeah it's doable um so. it, it yeah, and, and just and that just tells you like the difference, but then also common ground that 100%, 100%. we have. Hundred percent. And so, yeah. uh, I thank God He brought us together um, that we can share, right? And that we can also just you know encourage, you know yeah. what I mean, uplift. Yeah, and hopefully. empower. Yeah, and make our, somebody laugh a little bit here yeah. and there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Empower the, the the people that are gonna um, watch us, listen to us, and and follow us you know to um or if you they, if if you have some questions too i would yeah. love to answer them like you know don't ask me why my hair look crazy but i would love to i'll, I'll tell you why our hair <laughs> well yeah like because it's, it's we're it's in raining. texas and it's raining and yes. it texas hair does whatever texas hair want to do wants to do yes yeah 100 <laughs> yeah but well, our main focus has been main focus uh, obviously yeah. we want to Tell our stories, uh, yeah. help reach other people, empower, yes. help them grow, heal, um, and just know that they're not alone. You know, they're Correct. not crazy. No, you're not crazy. We're we're good crazy. Yeah, <laughs> we're the good crazy. We're not the bad. <laughs> yeah, we're crazy for Jesus. Yes. Okay. Um, but you're not crazy to think that you're. You know, this is only something that happens to you, and nobody else would understand or can. Right. Um, can goes through what you're going through. There right. are hundred there's stories after story after story that we can tell right. over our lifetime and then people right, that right. you know we know that have overcome, have um, walked through some grief, divorce, uh, mental right. health issues, right. uh, jail, all the all the things, you know, health issues, you know, all kinds of things, but they're still here, you know, learning, growing, and, and walking through it, and then hopefully, you know, taking a little bit of what we talk about um, and pass it on to the next person. Right. You know? right. Like I, I, what I see is, like, almost like that, not a chain reaction, but, like, I touch you, and then the next person, you touch yeah. the next person, and it's just like... Dominoes one, effect. Yeah, 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 like a domino effect, but it's almost like I'm leaving an imprint, and so the imprint is God in us. I'm right. leaving an imprint on you, and you're leaving the imprint on the next person, and the next, and the next, and that's... Uh, I feel like that's what God designed us to do, is to do a... We're going to... we're. Humans. Right, we're gonna do life with people, but we should be impacting them. We should be empowering them yeah. and build and, disciples. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent around the world. And, yes. and and just giving a little piece of God, a little piece of that, what He's given us right. to the next person. Yes, Amen, Amen. <laughs> Well, you guys, as you know, we're empowered by Kelly and Tatiana. So don't forget, we're going to come back with some great stuff, great stories. Follow us, um, subscribe, share with your friends if you want. If not, then that's cool. (laughs) But I would want that. I was going to come back next week so you can see if we have better hair days. Right. The rain's gone. (laughs) Right, right. Um, So, yeah, just come see us uh, or Follow follow us. Leave a comment. Yeah. Um, have any questions just let us know our team will take care of you yeah. <laughs>